Hey guys, welcome back to Simple City Barbecue. I'm Pit Master James Cruz. This week's video, we're doing a spicy chicken sandwich. Well, last weekend, I was hanging out with my good buddy Stretch, you know, from Food Network, Grinders in Kansas City. Well, he's got a line of hot sauces. These things right here are ranged from, obviously it's called Wimpy, for the, the lower heat level stuff. Then he's got one called uh, Banana Rat Wing, I have no clue where the, the name came from. He's got one called Near Death. And then the last one, Death Nectar. The name speaks for itself. We're not touching that one today. So what I'm doing is, I'm doing a spicy chicken sandwich for you guys. And we're gonna batter, we're gonna fry it. I'm gonna show you how to make a sauce with. We're going with the near death sauce today, along with some Blue's Hog products. Well, well, let's get started. We're gonna start with two thin cut chicken breasts. They're all natural, they should be juicy, they should be tender. I can't wait to fry these guys up. Well, we need to start with some seasoned flour. I've got some wheat flour here. It's basically one cup of wheat flour to a tablespoon of Cajun lamb with green onion. That's my go-to Creole seasoning. You don't need much more than that. We've got some ice cold uh, egg wash here. I did a half a cup of uh, milk, and two uh, scrambled eggs, mix it all together. Well, let's go dry first. You wanna keep one dry hand, one wet hand. Let's flip these around, put them up real good. Shake it off, shake it off, shake off your excess. Let's go with my wet hand now. Go wet. Shake it off. Go back to dry. Put this one in here. Get the wet hand going. Okay. Drip this off. Back to dry. Flip around a couple times. Make sure it's evenly coated everywhere. It looks like it is, so let's flip this one around. Got my oil heated up to about 360 degrees, ready for deep frying. Let's drop these guys in. These guys have been frying for about three minutes. They're floating. They hit 160 degrees. Let's take them out now, put them in a cooler rack, and I'll show you how we're going to build the sandwich. Let's turn this guy off. Move these off to the side for a second, let them rest. And let's say a little bit about the sauce we're basing there. So the sauce we're gonna dip them in is a sweet and spicy sauce. It's really simple. All I did was a half a cup of apple jelly, half a cup of some Blue's Hog Tennessee Red, a little sample bottle here. I use the rest of this jar right here. Then, this is where it gets fun. I went with the near death. All right, let me tell you guys a little quick true story. When I was testing this recipe, I thought, let's do this. Let's go a half a cup of apple jelly, a half a cup of that Tennessee red. Go two tablespoons of some near death. Let me tell you something right now. I would have flat out embarrassed myself in front of the entire world, all 17 viewers, if I would order that same recipe. So, get this straight, you ready? Half a cup of apple jelly, half a cup of Tennessee red, and only one tablespoon of that uh, grinder's near death. Trust me, that stuff is potent. So, this stuff right here is great. Take a look at it real quick. It has some great color. Definitely got some heat. Nice shine to it, a little spicy. Can't wait to cover that chicken breast with it. Let's put the sauce off the side for a second. I want to actually build a quick coleslaw. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go with this Tennessee Red again. It's being used two parts of this recipe. Straight at the bottle. Just a little bit in there. Use however much you want. It's great. It's, it's Blue's Hog's vinegar sauce, but it's got a good bite to it. It's got a little sweetness to it. So we're going with a vinegar slaw for this thing. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Just bake, basically make it as wet as you like. All right, we're gonna top that sandwich with it. We've got some pickles right here. We make them in-house every day at Central City Barbecue. All right, this coleslaw is where I want it. Okay. Let's get this off to the side right now. Okay. Got just a standard hamburger bun. I'm not trying to get too crazy or too chefy with you guys. Something you can pick up at any one of your grocery stores. First thing we're gonna do, and hit the bottom with a little Central City Barbecue white sauce. This is actually coming out on the market soon. You know we have our rubs out now. Go to centralcitybarbecue.com, order them there. It'll be on Amazon soon. And they're gonna be through all kinds of other barbecue distributors, hopefully soon. First thing we do, to the bottom a little white sauce. Give it a base. 
put that aside for a second. Let's get the sauce right here. I'm grabbing his chicken breast. It's coated both sides. And that nice, sweet, spicy flavor we got here. Flip it over. You ought to see this on how it's coated. This is beautiful. Let it drip off. You got it over. Look at that right there. Can't beat that. After that, we're going with a couple separate city barbecue pickles. A few of them, I should say. And then that coleslaw we made. They drain off real quick. And we top of that bun. You guys check that out right there. If you don't want to take a bite with that, I don't know what's wrong with it. That thing's beautiful, isn't it? Let's take a bite. This thing here, dripping. That's juice from that chicken breast. You can see the inside of that. That chicken breast is perfectly cooked, it's juicy. You don't need no chicken thigh. That near death, that's some serious stuff. That thing is delicious. Who doesn't love a spicy chicken sandwich, especially with a little sweet heat glaze over the top of it? Let me tell you how I made this thing. We got some thin cut chicken breast, put together a little seasoned flour, we went dry, wet, dry with the egg wash. After that, we dropped them in the fryer, about 360, 370, let them fry for about three minutes till it hit about 160 internal. Let them drain off to the side, I'll show you how we made it glaze. Remember, that near death, that stuff is, that stuff is lethal. So with the uh, apple jelly, the blues hog, Tennessee red, and then the hot sauce right there. You don't need much of it. I want a tablespoon. I'm sweating right now. It's got my lips on fire, but it's a good heat. Put on a hamburger bone with some pickles. Put coleslaw with that Tennessee red, and you can't beat that. Guys, uh, as always, I really appreciate you guys following us. While you're at it, why don't you stretch that finger to the subscribe button so you get more of these updates. Follow us on social media with the restaurant on Facebook and on Instagram. Follow myself on Facebook and on Instagram. Send me some messages. I'll get back to you. Any kind of any kind of barbecue knowledge you may need, I'm, I'll look to help you out as much as I can. See you guys next week.